questions. Deputy Michal Martin, please. Thank you, Con Con Corlib. Um, Tishuk, one has to feel um, for those people uh, whose births were uh, incorrectly registered or uh, legally adopted and who will learn for the first time that their parents are not their birth parents uh, in the context of St. Patrick's Guild and the information that emerged yesterday. The youngest affected, according to Tusla, is 49. Uh, the oldest is 72. But the issue, Tisha of incorrectly registered children or indeed illegal adoptions is not news uh, and is not something that we only learned yesterday. Indeed, over the last six to seven years, uh, various legislative proposals have been uh, considered uh, in terms of addressing this very specific um, issue, and the issue has been before quite a number of Oireachtas Health Committees uh, in terms of uh, the uh, tracing rights and so on like that and access to information. Uh, I welcome the news of a, a specific review uh, into this issue. I think that's important. But I would ask, in a more urgent sense, what are we doing right now and what are we doing for future generations of children whose rights uh, are not being affirmed? Basically, it has been accepted that we need to create a statutory basis to facilitate uh, children who have been adopted to trace information concerning their true identities. In 2016, the Adoption Information and Tracing Bill was published. The Minister's opponent uh, introduced it into Shannon Airden in May of 2017 uh, and spoke at length about the issues and indeed paid tribute to three former senators, Batchik, uh, Turnout and Avril Power, as forerunners, people who had been activating for this legislation. And that legislation specifically deals with the issue that was uh, identified yesterday. It essentially gives adopted uh, the adopted person's uh, birth parents and uh, relatives a statutory right to an information um, and uh, training uh, service. And in the speech uh, to the Shannon, the Minister very specifically addresses the issue by saying the state, and I quote, the state now recognises that there were also children who were incorrectly registered as the children of people other than their birth parents. This could serve to remove any formal record linking a birth parent with his or her birth child. Persons who have discovered that they were incorrectly registered in this way have faced huge and sometimes insurmountable difficulties in obtaining accurate identity uh, information and goes on then about in further sections dealing uh, with, with this very um, specific issue. Now, it has had several drafts and several iterations, Taoiseach, uh, but it has essentially stalled. I mean, it's been committed now for up to six years but for some reason, a bill which prov crucially provides a statutory basis for people uh, to access this kind of information, to access their identity, uh, their health records, and so on, has not emerged, or it has stalled. Where is the legislation, Taoiseach? Can you explain the lack of urgency in terms of bringing forward this legislation, you, the drift in progressing it, and could you explain the delay? Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm taken back that you didn't answer my question. It's a very specific question about why the delay in legislating for this. I didn't want prepared sound bites or a prepared script. I wanted a very specific answer, Taoiseach, because in 2010 the Adoption Authority of Ireland conducted an audit on this. The United Nations Committee on the Rights of the Child have commented negatively on our failure to legislate um, uh, in this area, uh, to specifically facilitate uh, access to information uh, and tracing, and particularly the right uh, of children to their identity. Uh, it's all, and I agree 100% with uncovering the past, no difficulty with that whatsoever. But we are now fa failing, and have over the last number of years, by our failure and the government's failure to bring forward the legislation and bring it through, to, to, look, to look after the rights of children born today. Children born today do not have an automatic right to a birth certificate, do not have an automatic right to their identity do not have an automatic right to tracing health information, health information that could be vital to their, to their well-being. So we need to deal urgently with the present and future generations as well, uh, as well as dealing you, with the past. And I just wanted to ask a basic question. The bill was introduced, 12, published in 2016, having gone through about seven or eight drafts. What is the issue that's delaying it? Why the lack of urgency in bringing this bill through? 